Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Stardust Speedway. Why did I say Starlight Zone last time? This is clearly not Starlight Zone. This is Stardust Speedway, where we fought Metal Sonic all those years ago in Sonic CD. Which I still need to get around to actually, you know, playing and beating. I own it! I don't have anything against it. I'm sure it's a fine, fun game. Everything that I've seen about it, I absolutely know is really, really cool and something that I would definitely enjoy. Even own it on PC. I just haven't gotten around to playing it, and I don't know why. So the main gimmick for uh, Stardust Zone, Starlight Speedway, Stardust Speedway, whichever one you want to call it, is you're going to have a lot of these quick, uh, these quick decision platforms that require you to make a choice on which way you want to go pretty much instantaneously. Now, you do that by holding down a uh, direction pad and you need to be really quick about what you're doing, but it's actually a really, really fun gimmick. Especially if you can get, you know, decent at it. Um, they also have these light creatures that'll show up every now and then. Um, they follow your screen right up until they start to fire, then they basically lock on to wherever they were um, when they started their fire up sequence, and then they fire there. You can destroy them right after they shoot at you, it's really, really easy. Also, those uh, man-eating, hedgehog-eating plants, whatever you want to call them, they're really weird. Hey! I didn't even know this was here! <laughs> that was a lucky guess. Okay, let's see if we can get the fourth one this time. Yeah, it's not worth it. There we go. Got that one. Almost hit Mach 2. Get that one. Unfortunately, we can't take our sh short... Or wait, we could take the shortcut. We are going to grab all those rings, though. And then we're going to keep moving. Screw it. Not worth it. Nope. Damn it. No! See what I mean by uh, bumpers? You saw right there that there weren't any. Oof. Come on, we can catch up. It just takes a little bit of perseverance and hard work. Hell, we even have 60 rings. No! 40 rings. Ugh. I will catch you. Nope. Nope. Ah, I missed those rings. Ooh. That was close. Oi. That works. That also works. Like I said, gotta avoid those spikes. They will fuck you. Oof. Gotta avoid those bombs, too. Because I'm guessing that's what they are. Oi! I am on your butt! You can't escape! So close! Next time we'll get it for sure. I think what I really need to do is just hit that shortcut every time. But cool, I didn't know those here. Cool. 
So if you haven't played this yet and you want to memorize where some of the uh, locations are, you can kind of use this as a pseudo guide for them. I will be getting all of the emeralds. There is absolutely no or uh, no reason I won't be. Um, those man eater plants are kind of a pain in the butt, though. So, um, also a lot of the elements that uh, this particular stage has, you might notice, come from uh, Marble Garden from Sonic 3. This game has a lot of inspiration for Sonic 3. I like it. Like these areas, the spin that lower the platform or lower the doors. Those um, lift uh, ball chains that are really, really uh, reminiscent of the things from Marble Garden Zone. This game took a lot from Marble Garden, or this particular level took a lot from Marble Garden Zone. Oh, did I really just go all the way backwards? Did I really just go all the way backwards? That sucks. Hey! It's those spike balls from Marble Garden Zone. And those platforms with spikes on them. Is this like the past or something? Or like a bad future? I know that's like one of the main gimmicks to Sonic CD. Is the uh, past future gimmick. What does destroying all these things do? Does it just unlock stuff? <laughs> so then what is the point of having if they don't go anywhere. Why? I really don't like that those things spin you or shoot you both ways. I mean, it's it's a neat mechanic, but I really would prefer it if they would just shoot me one way. <laughs> but we come to our mini boss. Which is literally just one of these things. The fireflies. You have to destroy one of those, then you have to pop one of these. And then the big one comes. And you only need to hit him six times, I think. Really, you don't even need to hit him, you just kind of need to avoid all their attacks until the big one comes. Because destroying the other ones I don't think does it any damage. Oh, this game is so fucking great. Hey, we destroyed a roboticizer, and we're going to the future, and we just hit 88 miles an hour. And that scene looks exactly like from Sonic CD, where you travel to the past and the future. Oh, that's so cool. And look, it's the good future. Maybe this good future will have something for me to use. Like, a giant ring. I'd really like a giant ring. Giant rings are really nice. I wonder what's over here.
Am I going the right way? I hope I'm going the right way. Did I really just go all the way back to the beginning? Well, that sucks. That sucks. These levels do have a lot of up to them too, like a lot of vertical, there's a lot of going up and going down as opposed to going left and right compared to the other Sonic games. It's really nice. I've seen a lot of Sonic games stick to a um, more of a horizontal as opposed to a vertical plane, but there's a lot of vertical, there's a lot of verticality to these levels. Verticality, I think is the word. Is that the word? There's a lot to these levels in both the horizontal and the vertical. Is it so much that I just want to find one giant ring? And, you know, actually be able to master that special stage because that's gonna eat at me forever so which way do I go do I go this way I'm guessing maybe we go this way then Hello. Hey, all the creatures. Oh no. Okay, so this is a Metal Sonic fight and the first thing you wanna know is avoid, avoid, avoid. You avoid everything. It's not worth it to fight him, because you can't do any damage, as far as I know. Just run as fast as you can. And get to the part where you need to be. You can damage him at certain points. But you need to uh, lure him to certain areas, like this! And then you play pinball! But you can only play pinball if they're spinning up. Which, hopefully they spin up fast. Come on. Come on. You have to play spin ball with these mini Sonics. It's really weird. But you have to bounce them basically into Metal Sonic. And you can only hit them when they're spin dashing. But as long as they're in the ball form, you can hit them. You can even hit them while they're charging. And once you've done that, now the real fight with Metal Sonic begins. Because guess what? The cheating bastard can't stand to have tails on the fight. It's okay, Metal. Wait, why did I go backwards? No. That way! You'll never beat me. I am the real Sonic. I am real Super Sand. But you're essentially running up to the top of this tower. Which has a very familiar face at the top.
in case you can't tell already. Now the real fight begins. Cause Metal's a cheating bastard! And God forbid you try to fight him without him having a deadly endgame plan. So he'll start to shoot three balls at you and then you can essentially get two or three hits off of him before he moves on to his next attack, which is rushing away and then charging back at you if I remember correctly. Or is that one of the only attacks that he'll do? Anyway, the boss is actually pretty easy because the, as you can see, the thing gets pushed away with your, or the thing pushes your rings. So you essentially just have, you're essentially invincible during the boss fight if you just hang out by the back end. But with that, guys, we got through Act Two, and I hope to see you in the next act when we take on Hydra City Zone. I think.